Hello and welcome out to another break, this time looking at the newly released 2021 Donruss. And if I sound a little bit different, I do have a new microphone. Ended up getting a lavalier mic, so if you hear any extra noises, uh, maybe even the lack of some noises, I apologize. Still looking at where I want to place uh, the lavalier. Uh, right now, just have it kind of up towards my neck, but I didn't know, like, positioning-wise, I uh, might need to work on that. But before we get into the Donruss box, these cards, you know where they're from, the arena, provided by the arena in Salina, Kansas. You can check them out, your information right there. And so this is actually the first time I have ever opened, I'm going to use the mini knife again this time, first time I've ever opened a Donruss product. Uh, I guess you could consider like Optic a Donruss product, but uh, I have opened Optic in the past, uh, maybe eight months ago at this point on the channel, whenever that was. But uh, yeah, so this is the first time actually opening even, not even on camera and off camera, opening any Donruss whatsoever. So I opened a lot of stuff last year, but I didn't open any Donruss at all. I think it was just at the time I was buying so much 2021 Series 1 that I didn't really care to even get anything else um yeah i was buying so much of that and opening day and gypsy queen was coming out and heritage that i was just like i don't really care to open uh any donors personally and maybe it was the logo thing uh, i'm not really sure i think i was also really confused because i was just getting back into the hobby and there were so many different parallels and inserts that i was just like i don't know what is going on i don't know what is worth what um so it was a lot of that kind of stuff. But taking off our first pack, eight cards per pack, uh, nice pack design, uh, has Kershaw on the front. But uh, we will go ahead and see what we get. I watched um, some people like One Cent Sports Cards and uh, some other people have their kind of breakdowns and openings of this product. So we're gonna start off with a pretty nice one I'm on the front, right? Maybe I might be uh, upside down, so I might be going the wrong way. Uh, oh, I think I might be, but Fernando Tatis Jr., Diamond Kings. It's going to be our first one here. We're looking at three hits in here, and uh, yeah, I think I'm going the wrong way. So yeah, there's the Tatis. A little bit thicker card stock, it feels like, than some of the other ones, but just seems to be an insert right there. But on the other side, we're going to start off with Colton Wong. I really like the uh, card feel of this. I feel like the card like the glossiness feels a little bit better than like normal top stuff. So I like that. Ian Happ, Trey Glaus. Uh, there was like some, a lot of different players that made the checklist, uh, even from the previous years. Uh, Christian Yelich, and we have our first rated rookie of the Marlins, Jazz Chisholm. There's the Clayton Kershaw, and we have out of 99, 76 of 99, a really nice looking Elite Series Luke Voigt. I believe was the home run champion last year. I'll sleeve that up. I don't know, because I think you can get, I guess like, uh, they don't really advertise, I guess I felt like, but uh, you can get hot boxes uh, and stuff out of here with like tons of parallels. And uh, you're going on the stand for now. I might have a hit, uh, a hit stand, like the, for the three hits and then maybe all the parallels, but um, we'll, we'll see how we go. Again, still working with a limited amount of space here on the table hopefully do improve that at some point soon so in addition to uh of course the no logos with some of the inserts you can get there's like different team names or like different um like variation i felt like i was on the team names but then also variations on the player names so like their nicknames and i'm sure we'll get some of those randy rosarena would be a nice rated rookie if he was last year's there's bay ruth denilson lamette there is one of those is Bigfoot. It's one of our uh, name variations. Trevor Bauer. And we have a U Darvish out of 2021. So this is almost, uh, you can almost say that's like the gold equivalent. Uh, and there's a nice blue Ronald Acuna Jr. So another um, one there. I think uh, I'm going to pass on, I'll sleeve the U Darvish eventually, but I feel like it's going to be a long video if I sit here and I sleeve every single parallel if we get a lot of parallels in here so I'm gonna try and pick up the pace but um I don't know we'll try I'll pick and choose out which ones that I really like uh, of numbered parallels and 
sleeve those up. Conforto, Seeger, Paul Canerco. I always liked watching him play. Chris Paddock. There's a Wit Diamond Kings, Christian Javier, and we have a Ramon Laureano Blue Star parallel. I was thinking these ones were numbered, but maybe they are not. Sometimes they uh, hide it somewhere, and I don't think I'm seeing it anywhere on here. But um, yeah, nice Blue Star parallel of Laser. And then we have a Byron Buxton Blue parallel. I think it still does confuse me at times with all the all the crazy parallels and nicknames. And it's like, I don't know what's all worth what. But I know somebody who's worth a lot of money, Fernando Tatis Jr., is going to start us off. Wilmer Flores, Nolan Ryan, Bieber, Butane. I'm guessing is that Walker Bueller. That's the kind of thing I don't know. Some of these guys, I'm going to assume that's, yeah, Walker Bueller. Ken Griffey Jr., and we have out of 494, Dominic Smith. So this is one of the insert uh, like numbered parallels where they take a statistic. So he's got a 494 slugging percentage. And with this card, they're going to be out of 494. So that's a nice one right there. Jake Cronenworth, blue, rated rookie. And we can get a parallel on a rated rookie or any rookie in that fact. A pretty good one there. Brandon Lau, this pack feels a little bit thicker. Cattell Marte, Miguel Tejada, interesting he made the list. Trevor Bauer, and it looks like it's going to be a hit. I didn't know if it was going to be a shill card. Josh Bell, Evan White rated rookie, and Kevin Biggio. It's going to be a Kevin Biggio relic. So usually when you think about these thick card stocks, it's pretty nice Evan White there. Think about these thick cardstock cards, and you're like, it's probably going to be a relic more times than not. But Kevin Biggio is a nice one to get. I mean, I guess you could always get Tatis or something like that, but definitely that's the thing that somebody like that people like about the Don Russ is you can get plenty of relics and hits out of here. Uh, let's see if a normal sleeve does it. If not, might have to go a little thicker. Yeah, it might have to. And I don't even know if I have... Oh, I got my thick sleeves around here. Now I'm hiding a little bit. And there, that fits in really nicely. So our first hit is going to be Kevin Biggio. And the last card of that pack, Jose Canseco Blue. I'm going to shift some cards over. I'm going to still try and pick up the pace a little bit so I'm not standing here all, or sitting here, I guess, per se. I'm sitting, sitting here all day, and uh, hopefully you're not sitting there all day either. Devers, Stanton, Jeff Bagwell, looking all cool. Luis Garcia, rated rookie. Bryce, and another out of 2021. That's a really nice one. Fernando Tatis Jr., Followed by a blue Reese Hoskins. So I think we may have some sort of hot box. Uh, perhaps with some parallels. And I'll go ahead and sleeve up Mr. Tatis. And uh, yeah, you're going in the parallel ones. That's right. That's what we're doing. That one that one makes the list. Definitely with uh, the name and the name Slam Diego, so maybe that's even worth a little bit more with the nickname variation. Again, Don Russ, not the uh, craziest, highest selling set, but certainly they. Uh, I guess what I mean by that is, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna pull a huge car that's gonna get you a ton of money. Uh, very rarely in Don Russ. A Rod Clevenger. Tony Two Bags, Matt Chapman, followed by a really neat unleashed Marcel Ozuna. Caught a little bit of the back. That's going to be 461 out of 999. It's a nice looking card there. Uh, it's not going to make it though into the stands. The Pantera, maybe if that unleash was a little bit lower numbered, uh, I'd throw it up there. But for now, unleashed and Ozuna not making it. 
Kong Young Kim, Solano, Craig Biggio, Garrett Cole, Yelich Diamond Kings. There's a nice rated rookie, Ryan Mountcastle, followed by another out of 2021, and there's a nice one as well. Key Brian Hayes. So I think this is actually going to be a pretty valuable card at the current moment because this is, other than that silver pack card in 2021 Series 1 tops, this is like his really only other rookie card that's out there right now. Be interesting to see if, uh, other than the Matt Chapman, it'd be interesting to see if um, opening day does something weird with Key Brian Hayes, like if they throw in a short print of him, because I mean, Key Brian Hayes is certainly going to be in Series 2. Be interested to see if he shows up um, in opening day, like as a, you know, short print, like number 201, like Luis Robert was. Hadn't really thought of that about, about that before. I just kind of was thinking about that. But yeah, this is like really his main rookie card right now. John Means. Real Mudo. Rod Carew. There's the other base, Key Brian Hayes. Big Puma. We have another Ian Ander, or excuse me, a Stars Parallel. This is going to be Ian Anderson, not going to be numbered. And then a nice blue Starling Marte. So we still got three packs left on the top stack. Trying to keep going a little bit. There's Bellinger. Syndergaard. Dwight Gooden. Luzardo. Joe Adele's the nice one to get out of here. And we have yet another out of 2021 Miguel Rojas for the Miami Marlins. Man, I'm getting a ton of these. And a nice Diamond Kings, Mike Trout. So what is that? Up to, I think we're, I, mean, I, like to like, I feel like we're four already of those 2021s. Man, tons of parallels. Trent Grisham, that's why people love this stuff for sure. Um, and, I, and I love it for the parallels too. I, I just, you know, sometimes you don't, like you have that um, Unleashed Marcelo Zuna out of 999. It's like, is there really a ton of value in that though? I mean, maybe there is. Um, there's two Ricky Henderson cards. That one's just a little stat name variation. Joey Gallo, Jake Cronenworth. Is this our auto? That is going to be our first auto right there. Jake Cronenworth from the Padres. That is not going to be numbered. Oh, yeah, dude, it is numbered. Oh, look at that. Low number, too. 12 of 25. Kind of had that gold stamp mission with the background there. 12 of 25. Jake Cronenworth auto. Again, with Don Russ, there's a lot of sticker autos um, that I've been seeing. I think probably more now, more than ever with the pandemic, um, probably impacting a lot of these players' ability to sign in-person cards. But that's going to be our second hit. And again, we also had uh, to finish that pack. I think it kind of blew by a little bit. A nice blue Ken Griffey Jr. Last pack of the first stack, Manny Machado, Reggie Jackson, Cabrera, Brady Singer, Nolan Arenado. We have a nice parallel coming up. It is the Statue of Liberty parallel. I've seen a few of these. I want to say I thought they were... Man, am I missing it again already? I was thinking these might have been numbered too, but this uh, Statue of Liberty parallel is not numbered. Unless I am absolutely blind looking through my phone camera. Still a nice parallel. But this here, we have a numbered parallel. This is going to be another uh, statistic parallel out of 329. Dylan Bundy with his season 3.29 ERA in 2020. And Martin Perez blue parallel. Now on to the second stack, finally. We already got two hits, so our two hits came out of that first stack. So we're actually going to see, hopefully, uh, we do have one more hit coming. So, but I think hopefully we're looking at a lot of more parallels coming up. Pujols, Bogarts, Dale Murphy, Brandon Woodruff, Starling Marte, Hebert, followed by Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Trending, 944 of 999. That's a nice looking card. I like a lot of these card designs, right? I mean, I think they look really cool. The other thing is, is that I just love it. I would love it more in like the optic, like chrome. Um, I think that's like a big thing that I really love 
about just the Chrome cards. Like, I feel like, oh, there's like all these paper products. Yeah, there's Series 1. Yeah, there's Donruss. But I'm like, man, I just want to wait for Optic. I just want to wait for Topps Chrome. But unfortunately, just stuck with the paper right now. I think maybe that's why I wasn't, I'm not so crazy about, about the main Donruss stuff. Chris Bryant. Ozzy. Berrios. Joey Bart rated rookie. Getting the rookies out of the way. Max Scherzer. Dansby Swanson. And we have yet another parallel. And that's going to be a statistic one as well. 439 of 452 for his 452 career hits. A nice blue Bo Bichette. It's a nice blue on blue there. Uh, this probably will be the only box of Donruss I do, uh, at least hobby box wise. I don't think I'm going to get another one. Uh, and then even in addition to that, I don't know how much retail I'm going to pick up, if I can even find any for that matter. But I do like uh, the way the card feels, let's say. Miguel Rojas, 10-time All-Star. It's going to be Alex Rodriguez. Diamond Kings, Guerrero Jr. Liam Hendricks, Blue Star. Getting that numbered. And a nice blue Randy Arozarena. So, you know, a lot of blues of the players we kind of wish we had maybe last year as rated rookies. I think we had a blue back here. There's a nice blue Ian Anderson. We'll get to him in just a moment. Sonny Gray, Ramirez, Bo Jackson, Renato Nunez, Divi Garcia, Tristan McKenzie. And then a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Just kind of saw one of those cards, but now we have his out of 2021 Diamond Kings, followed by that blue Ian Anderson. So another nice parallel there. I'm actually going to sleeve up the uh, Guerrero Jr. It's another nice big name. I'll sleeve that up. Put that on a stand. And yeah, I don't know if this is some sort of hot box. I feel like everybody might be saying like, oh, it's a hot box. But maybe this is just uh, normal for Donruss with the amount of parallels they have. And really the only reason I say with hot boxes is just because, you know, Optic has their parallel and um, autograph hot boxes. Canseco, Cunha, Bam Bam. I guess that's Brandon Lau. Pete Alonzo, followed by a... Oh, the, wow, okay, this is the Domingo Ayala card. I was thinking about that for a second. That's a nice Vlad Sr. Yes, here's a uh, Domingo Ayala card. I'd heard about is some of like the short prints. There's a nice kind of, maybe just a black parallel. Um, yeah, I don't know the crazy um, amount of that card, but it could be worth something. There's a nice Vladimir Guerrero Sr. out of 2021. And Mike Piazza, blue. So for some reason, when I saw the Tominga Ayala, like, oh yeah, he's a short print. For some reason, my mind immediately went to the rookie of the Diamondbacks last year, Domingo Leba. And I was like, why is that guy like a short print? Like, I didn't understand. And I was like, oh, it's completely different. It's Ayala. Okay. I don't really know the story uh, with him, really. So I'll have to look up some of that stuff in the future. Nate Pearson, we have another out of 2021. Can we get a rated rookie? No, but it is Ramon Laureano out of 2021 and Mike Yastrzemski. Man, we're getting so many out of 2021s. Compared to, like, top series one, it takes forever now to even just get a gold out of 2021. We're getting a lot of out of 2021s. DJ LeMahieu, Witt, John Smoltz, Keichel, Gigante, and just throw that card somewhere else. Acuna. And a Dominators U Darvish out of 349, followed by a blue rated rookie of Braylon Marquez. I like the look of that card, that um, U Darvish there. It's a nice card. Got maybe, this has got five packs left. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for sticking with us. Bassett, Votto, Fergie Jenkins, Rizzo, Aaron Judge, Alec Bohm, rated rookie. I think we got pretty much all the big rookies now. And we have a, at another 2021, Steve Garvey, followed by a blue Joey Gallo. This blue wasn't flipped around like a lot of the other ones were. 
So we're still got one hit left. Um, you know, we're getting close to that ever great penultimate pack. But uh, four packs left. We still got another hit coming. We still got another autograph. Javi, Kyle Hendricks. Hopefully they don't pull one of those, uh, oh, on average things. There's another Gary. Santander. Nick Madrigal, rated rookie. Starling Marte. And a blue star of Nick Castellanos. Followed by an Ian Happ. Blue foil. One pack until the penultimate. Zach Wheeler, Verdugo, Larry Walker, Keller. Is that, uh, is that Sammy Sosa, I think? But let's see who's behind it. Cattel Marte. Yeah, it is Sammy Sosa. Tell Marte, Diamond Kings, and another out of 2021. That's going to be, oh, that's a nice one. Mike Trout out of 2021. And I don't know if that's like a image variation, maybe. I don't think, maybe, if there are those. Shane Bieber, blue foil. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, I don't know if that's um, some kind of short print or whatnot. But that's certainly sleeve whether he can join Vladdy Jr., Q. Brian Hayes, Tatis. Join all those guys on the parallel stand. Man, if I was sleeving all the parallels right now, I'd be, be here for quite a while. Again, um, please let me know what you think about the new mic. Um, hopefully get more, like, better lighting options and even better sound design. Been looking at maybe getting a new phone at some point. I've been currently on this iPhone 7 Plus for almost four years now, so. Didi, Jeff McNeil, Dawson, Luke Voigt, Dylan Carlson. Yelich. Uh, what do we got here? Is that... Okay, I think that might be our auto. For some reason, I was wondering if that was a uh, redemption at first. Blue on the back, Keith Hernandez. And it's going to be Alex Kirillov. That's a nice auto right there. Sticker auto. A little off-centered sticker placement a little bit. But that's a nice auto right there. At least... Uh, Young player, for sure. I've heard uh, plenty about him uh, coming up and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think Alex Carroll lost a nice one. I, just, I don't know why that, that sticker placement is bugging me a little bit. Like, it's, like, angled down a little bit. I've noticed that at times. But, um, yeah, nice hit there for Minnesota. And that was the penultimate pack. So, now we're back on to the final pack of the night that Kirillov doesn't seem to be numbered in any way the Jake Cronenworth was I'd probably certainly probably take the Kirillov out of 25 more than the Cronenworth so I touch the camera a little bit last pack nice Louis Robert Cal Ripken Ryu Yaz Mike Yastrzemski and what would this be without another out of 2021 and it's going to be D.D. Gregorius out of 2021 1967 uh, 2021 followed by last card is Colton Wong. So, we got a nice stack of parallels, nice stack of base. Uh, I would say this was a pretty successful break, especially if you love, love, love the parallels as I have this nice big old stack to my right. But going through the hits real quick, I'm going to go through the sleeve ones that I picked out for the parallels. The Mike Trout out of 2021, Vlad 2021. Key Brian Hayes, Tatis, and Luke Voigt out of 99. Our hits, Alex Kirillov, Sticker Auto, have a Kevin Biggio Relic with the white. And our last card was the Jake Cronenworth Auto out of 25, 12 of 25. Nice kind of gold foil right there. So that's going to be it for 2021 Donruss. Uh, please let me know what you think about this video. What do you think about the product? Uh, in the comments down below. Uh, you can like the video, you can dislike the video. Um, you know how YouTube works, I don't need to tell you all that. Please comment below, as I kind of mentioned already. You can subscribe for all the future videos I've got coming up and maybe have some Panini Optic football that I found in some retail stores. Got a blaster and a uh, mega box that I just 
luckily found one day. So going to bring those to you next after this video. And until then, we'll see you later. Bye.